How to paint with an air compressor. If a brush and roller turn every painting project into a tedious affair, this guide will make the process quicker and easier using simple pressurized air. You will need a respirator or mask, safety glasses, a pair of gloves, a spray gun attachment, a compressor, a high pressure hose, and paint or primer. Step one, wear safety gear such as a respirator or mask safety glasses, and gloves before working with any paint, primer, or stain. Avoid serious injury. Step two, connect the spray gun attachment to your compressor using the appropriate high pressure hose, connectors, and regulators. Check your spray gun for the amount of airflow needed in cubic feet per minute and make sure your compressor can deliver at least that amount. Step three, Follow the directions on the package to mix the paint or primer with the solvent in the right ratios to get the correct consistency. The ratio of solvent to paint will depend on the gun you are using, the tip size, and the type of paint or primer. Step 4. Use the smallest tip you can to atomize the paint or primer for an even coating that will look great and last several years. Step 5. Test the spray pattern on a piece of cardboard and tune the knob on the side to adjust the air and paint mixture to get the finest splatter pattern possible. Do this each time you paint. Step 6. Paint with even, fluid movements back and forth at a consistent speed. Be sure to overlap each layer for an even coat. Wait for the first layer to dry before repeating if needed, usually 12 to 24 hours, and enjoy the results. Did you know? Liquids, unlike gases, cannot be compressed into a smaller volume under natural conditions. Water can be compressed, but it takes a tremendous amount of energy for a very small result.